Would you like to know if you should learn cloud engineering before learning cloud architecture? If so, this video is for you. Hi, my name is Mike Gibbs. I'm an enterprise architect with approximately 25 years experience as a network architect, security architect, cloud architect, enterprise architect. And for the last two decades, I've been helping people get their first tech job, get promoted in tech. You can find architects that I've trained working at every major organization. In today's video, we're going to answer this question I get asked all the time. Should I learn cloud engineering before I learn cloud architecture? Now, in the beginning, I'm going to be fairly specific. There is a major difference between a cloud engineer versus a cloud architecture. And the short answer is it's not going to help you very much, if at all, to become a cloud engineer before becoming a cloud architect. But I want you to understand the why, because it's going to be critical to your cloud architect career and your cloud architect training and development. So in many cases, becoming a cloud engineer will not help you become a cloud architect or an AWS solutions architect or an Azure solutions architect. And the reason is the focus of these roles. So let's look at what a cloud engineer does in their job. They build stuff and they tune and optimize things. So what does that really mean? Maybe the cloud engineer is installing an application on some servers. Maybe the cloud engineer is writing some infrastructure as code scripts. Maybe the cloud engineer is uh, automating something in Linux with a bash shell script or a Python script that they wrote. Or maybe they're working with Windows servers and automating with a PowerShell script, for example. Maybe my cloud engineer is administering and configuring a cloud system, or maybe a network system like a router or switch, or potentially even a firewall. So that's a lot of doing. The cloud engineer is a deep, hands-on doing technology, right? building stuff, doing stuff. Now, if we take a step back, let's talk about what a cloud architect does in their job. Well, they don't build anything, and that should be your first red flag. Cloud engineers build stuff and performance team stuff. Architects don't touch the technology. So learning things like programming or how to administer Linux is not going to help you as an architect. I wish it was, but it wouldn't. Here's what we do. We develop our architectural roadmaps, long-term strategic strategies to help an organization grow. We define architectural standards and principles, which are guidelines, for example, to direct uh, technology choices and selections throughout our organization. We do a lot of stakeholder management and communicate back and forth with various stakeholders to understand business needs and to create systems that support their needs. We uh, do a whole lot of translation between business requirements and technology solutions. So we're the go-between between the organization executives and the organization's engineers. We will start evaluating new technologies to see the impact they might have on our business. And if they can have a positive impact on our business, we'll consider an architectural design to glean the benefits from that technology. We may be focused on developing governance for various architectures and processes for compliance, what have you, and change control. We're typically designing for compliance with any kind of industry regulation, say HIPAA for healthcare in the United States. We're typically look to drive standardization and interoperability and uh, promote reuse of standardized solutions and remove any proprietary technologies. We're typically looking to reduce technical debt. We're communicating architectural decisions to key stakeholders and leadership. We're leading architectural review boards. We're facilitating meetings. We're creating cloud strategies and roadmaps. So as you can see, the architect, like the cloud architect, the AWS solutions architect, the Azure architect, the Google cloud architect, we're all doing the same things. We're planning. How do we optimize the organization's business with technology? Engineer build, architects plan. So does it benefit you to learn someone else's job? Well, I want you to think about this. So do you think it would help you become an airplane pilot by working as a flight attendant. Well, I can tell you, I know flight attendants with 15 years of flight attendant experience that decided to be pilots. And you know what they did? They went to flight school, the same flight school the pilots went to, and they had to start from zero. Because learning how to keep passengers safe in their seats on an airplane is different than flying the plane. New job, new skills, and learning someone else's job doesn't make you better at yours. Now, look, if you have a cloud engineering background, you will have some technology things that will assist you in your career, which is great. So don't uh, 
dot dot not have the background, but it doesn't make sense if you're starting out to learn somebody else's job to get there. Focus on your job. Focus on the things that are going to make you great at your job and be an expert at your job, not someone else. So thinking that learning cloud engineering would teach you cloud architecture is a lot like trying to go become a flight attendant to become an airplane pilot is just going in the wrong direction. So that's the secret. Train for the career you desire. The cloud architect career, the solutions architect career, the enterprise architect career. These are among the best careers in the world. And why are they so great? Well, they pay a lot because there's a shortage of people that can do our skills because almost no one has the ability to design technology solutions to optimize business performance. So that's why learning cloud engineering, why not help you become a cloud architect? Do you want to become a cloud architect? Learn how to become a cloud architect. Get the right training and development for it. In fact, I have a free webinar that I run once a week and we go over the cloud architect role. We'll talk about the skills that you need. We'll talk about how to get hired regardless of your experience level. It's live and free on Zoom. So please uh, join us in this free session. You can find it in the description of this video. While you're signing up for that free webinar in the description of this video, we've got free documents to help you get your first cloud architect job, win the cloud architect interview, the security architect job, your first enterprise architect job, pretty much anything in the architectural world. Because at Go Cloud Careers, we specialize in architecture careers like my last 25 years of architecture experience. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Subscribe to our channel to, and hit the bell to be notified of new videos to assist you in your cloud architecture, enterprise architecture, or security architecture career. Uh, look forward to seeing you soon.